Today, Affinity has announced that they have been acquired by Canva. And what this means, you know, will Affinity become a new subscription system? Uh, what is coming to Affinity? And I will give you my, my full and complete review since I've been using Affinity since 2018. All right. So if you don't know me, I'm John Silva. I'm illustrator. I'm graphic designer, and I've been using Affinity a lot, 100% of my time. And I want to share with you my review over this announcement right here and right now. Okay, guys, let's dig into this video here. Right, I'm going to show you uh, the announcement. Uh, you can follow here by these captions. And the CEO of Affinity has announced uh, this decision and I want to talk and explain some of my reviews and personal opinions. Produce a great online. So here he explains that Affinity now is part, is becoming part of the Canva uh, tool, which is this program here, you know, where you can produce social media content, uh, you know, graphic design contents and a lot of things. And I've been using and I really like the way that Canva works. Mainly, mainly the you know auto remove background. It's it works absolutely incredible. I really love that to be honest. So this is the tool that they are becoming you know part. And most people and most I'd say designers uh, judge this tool as a non-professional tool because there are many things ready to use. I I really like this too, to be honest, and they have a affordable price, you know. And here he explained about you know uh, this tool that many people use, and I think you now Affinity will become um, perhaps stronger if they join to this Canva than they stay alone like this moment, you know, to beat Adobe ecosystem. And yes, uh, he said that this tool here. Uh, it's been really, really successful, and I can agree 100%. They have been growing a lot, mainly in in the social media, you know, uh, industry. I mean this because I think that Adobe, it's it's the monopoly, you know, of the, this world of the creative system, which is for now quite expensive for countries like mine, you know, here in Brazil, paying Adobe it is quite expensive. So here he said that nothing changes, you know, and no layoff has been done, which is really, really good because today there are many layoffs happening in the world, even my industry, you know, in the, the art industry, it is becoming really, really uh, bad and sad. One of the things that I think to explain about the decision is that they can now uh, bring the resources of Canva to accelerate the development. And to be honest, the results that they mean, it's for me, it's more the founds. It's important that to grow the, the app, the tool, you must have, you know, money, you know, invested on it. And it's been a while since I haven't, I haven't seen Affinity growing a lot as company because the revenue system, if you sell one time and then you need to sell a lot of, you know, uh, you know, products to make a sustainable business. So having this kind of decision, I think, to be honest for me, it is it is the best way that they can keep doing and keep the affinity alive in the world. And I personally don't think that this is a goodbye to affinity, you know, let's say to the products, just because they will become part of the Canva. Uh, I explained to you, that Canva, I really like the way that they, they provide resources and the price. However, I would be really sad if they announce something like, hey, we are, we are gonna join Adobe. This definitely would be the end of the world for me. But since it is not Adobe, for me, it, it's great. And I can agree that Affinity uh, grew a lot, you know, as well in the, in the world. Even being a, such small thing you know affinity is not a big high-tech company i can say that watching affinity during these hours they can't make a sustainable business 
because that they need to sell so much, you know, to to keep growing, to keep investing, which is become really hard. You know, for my perspective, um, I'm not saying that the subscription model it is you know the best model of the world, but if this make the affinity better and affordable, I, I would you know agree with that decision. I would I would, I want to see affinity growing because it's my favorite app, because it's good, there is a great performance, they deliver nice tools, you know. I completely understand that we have many people disappointed about if I think to become a subscription system. And I, I have my thoughts on that because I'm also a content creator and I've been working several years doing, you know, uh, daily content. And I need to tell you that it's really hard to make a sustainable business if you sell one time one, only one time and then you you deliver forever the content without getting you know the payments to pay your food to pay your rent uh, and I completely understand this, this side you know that it's really hard to make a sustainable business by doing that unless if you sell many many you know to new users always which is really hard you need to make a lot of efforts so my my opinion about that is that I only see Affinity growing if they have some support and I see that people want to have the best tool but, but paying nothing, that's free app like Blender, but Blender gets, you know, investors behind, there are, you know, many companies, people, I know, giving money to them to keep them uh, producing and improving the, the app and this is my, my thought, you know, is that if I think it become cheaper than Adobe, you know, in this way and better for me, it's gonna be good. If you can make your living uh, doing and using the app, personally, I think that it's it's giving you, you know, the opportunity. It's an investment you are paying and you are receiving also from your client. So it's an ecosystem, you know, that this have. I'm not defending the, the subscription system unless if it is something affordable you know you are paying you are getting back which is uh, fine so i hope that affinity will grow a lot with this decision i really expect i'm very looking forward and this made this made my day because because i i saw they they're struggling to to keep you know fighting against adobe ecosystem <laughs> so that's it for now uh, i'm very excited to bring even more courses, you know, doing affinity, uh, you know, courses, and even share some of my tips using uh, Canva the way that I use. So Canva, it's really awesome. I really, I love uh, Canva because it helps me a lot and it's really affordable. Guys, thank you so much for for watching this video. I want to thank you all the supporters of the Vectorize as well. You know, you can join to my club if you want to to get my courses. And I hope to see you around and let's see, you know, I will stay updating you regard all this news here. Thank you and see you and bye bye.